Yeah, good energy. I mean, most of the guys have been out here. Obviously, yesterday we didn't do anything with the physicals. We kind of shut the day down. But leading up to that, I think every pitcher that threw today would probably have three or four mounds, bullpen sessions under their belt. Uh, it was exciting to see those guys. I, I watched Poche throw. Uh, McClanahan, obviously, super talented and pretty electric stuff. But all in all, just nice to be on the field. We got beautiful weather. It's not that crisp, cool morning. It's more hot right now, which I enjoy. Maybe the players don't, but it's been. It was nice. You mentioned McClanahan. What are you expecting out of him? Out of some such a young kid? Yeah, just go, continue to go, keep developing. Uh, obviously, he's done enough things to put himself. Uh, on a map for this organization and throughout baseball, he's here for a reason. We like to, you know, have Kyle and Stan, our major league uh, coaches, get a look on him, uh, some of the players. But Max has been throwing bullpens, I think, three or four at the trop leading up to this local guy. So he's got a chance to be special. Try not to get in his way. Physically, Yanni Chirinos, the transformation he's made from a year ago. Looks awesome. Um, he, he, I saw him a week ago and you could tell what whatever he did he worked really really hard uh and you know you ask the guys to go into off seasons and 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 you want them to work hard but you just want them to come in healthy and yanni went above and beyond that uh it's good that you noticed and other people are noticing because it takes a lot of hard work for that to happen and he put it in and the catchers uh getting to getting that uh, chemistry built already um I didn't, didn't see Z out there. The, he was out there. They were, they, they were all, they just got done hitting. Okay. Um, you know what, good for Z that maybe that will always be important for all of our catchers, but he probably doesn't have to focus on it quite as much this year as he did last year. But knowing his personality, he'll be right on top of it. I think they enjoyed uh, the bullpen sessions, and, you know, Hoove will do such a good job of making sure that we're not overworking and tiring guys' legs out. Yeah, and Z is right in that category. Uh, it's it's all there, and he's done it. That, that's uh, the rewarding thing is that he's he's done it. He he'd probably be the first to admit that he had uh, some struggles last year at the plate. What he did defensively was remarkable. He seems in a really good spot, positive. I know it's March or excuse me, February twelfth or thirteenth, whatever it is today. Uh, but you'd rather be in a good mindset than not. I think that's fair. It's fair probably for any team and uh, any any organization. But when you look at the the candidates that we have, uh, the five that that are obvious with with Yarbs and Trinos and then Brandon McKay, Trevor Richards, uh, and then some young players that are making a push. Uh, if we can stay healthy, we, we we got really talented pitchers, and we've got talented pitchers that can provide some depth. You like seeing that hunger from the guys, and not necessarily a chip on their shoulder, but they, they tasted the, the postseason, and it seems like these guys want to. They're eager to get back. Yeah, uh, getting to know them over the last uh, couple seasons, a, a lot of them, you, you kind of expect that. That's just the way they went about their business, and they carry themselves on a nightly basis. So, wouldn't expect that to change. The new facility. Yeah. What does it mean to this to this group, and how much is it going to help? Well, first of all, a lot of people did a lot of things, worked really, really hard to to make it nice for our players, and. Uh, credit them for getting it done that was a lot to go on between the batting cage building b over here that is now you know a bunch of different rooms but mainly a weight room um i think it's getting us up to speed with some of the other facilities throughout florida and arizona i mean that 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 weight room is impressive to walk through now we just got to get our guys to get in there and use it going back to the catchers i know darno did big things last year but with perez and Zunino, like Having worked with these pitchers for a couple of years, how much does that help when they know each other? That helps, uh, certainly helps, and 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 I think they can help the guys that we brought in, whether it's uh, Kevin Smith, a veteran guy, or Chris Herman, who's you know they, they've kind of gone their organizational organization. As soon as you come into a new camp. As a catcher, your priority is getting to know. And we have a leg up with Mikey and Zanino knowing those guys. Now it's our job to to get the other the rest of the group up to speed. Uh, competitive. I mean, I, I think they do a good job of pushing each other, but they're so supportive, and uh, you know that that's a credit to Mike Zanino. He really cares about the people that he's working with, and even last year, look, that was tough. Travis comes over and did some really special things for us. The way he carried himself as a person, as a teammate, was second to none. 
It seem, seems like every year more and more position players are, are reporting early. I know you were out there uh, early this morning with a, with a lot of them. What, is, what does it say that these guys want to be here and want to be around and, and start their preparation for the year? Yeah, I mean, fortunately for us, we've got to say it for, you know, five years now that I've been around. They, guys want to be out here. They like to be around their teammates. They like to get situated. If they've got families, they like to come down, help their wives, girlfriends, kids get situated in Port Charlotte and enjoy six weeks.